here at Yellow Buckets here to do another toasty review. Um, it's been quite a while. I think it's been about five years since we've done one of these proper and I know a lot's happened in our personal lives and in the world abroad in the time since but hey you know I'm here to do the one thing that I know how to do best and that's review snacks, beverages, food products and other stuff that probably shouldn't pass through your digestional tract but will Digest it. Fuck it. But hey, I'm here. Whether it's been five days, five years, um, it's always been the kind of same thing for me. You know, I've always kind of just done these uh, on the basis of when I feel the inspiration, that's when I do them. So I feel like the time is right to revive these things, bring back some new reviews. Um, I've got a lot of goals I want to set for the channel here. Just in small things, mainly just in terms of improving quality, little things like maybe a theme song or a new logo. Or a directional mic attachment for my camera, so like the audio quality would just sound better in general, and sound similar to this voiceover, for example. Uh, maybe get some merch and stuff like that. You know, it's a big hill to climb. But when the flames of inspiration burn, dare I say, flaming hot, then, you know, things will get done and hey as long as you guys are here to watch them that's the main thing that'll keep me going wait a second comrades it's a big hill flaming hot i know what i must do Gotta be it. Meanwhile, on Mars. Oh, great slayer. Go look at the priest. What 
the shit, Doom guy? Ask no questions, comrades. Well, that was pretty damn trippy. Not every day you get to meet the Doom guy, comrades, but flaming hot Mountain Dew. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's review this bitch. All right, everyone, we're back. That was a bizarre encounter, to say the least. But regardless, we're here in the kitchen, safe at home, safe from any Doom guys and demon slaying badasses, and we have flaming hot Mountain Dew. Um, all the way from Mars, from the inventory of some video game protagonist, um, or maybe possibly just sat in the back of my fridge for the past year plus since I've been contemplating doing this episode. Um, yeah, Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew that expired on July 11th, 2022, so not far off from a year from when I'm, <laughs> as of recording this. It's good to be back, comrades. It's good to be back trying some products. Uh, this was hot like last year. Uh, I think it came out early 2022. Um, I can throw like a screenshot or whatever of like when exactly it came out. It was discontinued within the year. It was just a limited time promotion by Mountain Dew, which is supposed to simulate the taste of their flaming Hot products. You know, most popular being Hot Cheetos. Uh, I think there's like flaming Hot Funyuns, flaming Hot Doritos. Anything is flaming hot now. Um, yeah, so why not Mountain Dew, right? Why not drink that flavor? So I don't know. I honestly, I had, I've avoided trying it just in anticipation of this review. Um, yeah, I do not know what to expect. I, basically, I expect it to be kind of hot, like a red hot, kind of like one of those uh, red hot candies, like cinnamon. I kind of had imitation cinnamon flavor, but like with a pound of, of sugar and some mysterious red chemical dye added to it. Um, I don't know, but we're going to give it a try here and see. So why not? Ooh, this thing is tight. Very tight. There we go. Not much carbonation left in the old puppy. Smells just like Mountain Dew. Maybe Code Red, like. And honestly, it just smells like Mountain Dew, but with a more citrus smell. All right, so it passes a sniff test. Nothing too heinously offensive. Okay, the flavor off the bat is just kind of a more a citru more citrusy lime. And now it feels like there's corrosive, acidic chemicals coming out of some fucking creature from Borderlands asshole on the back of my throat. Um, boner farts. Shout out to fucking Sir Hammerlock. Bloody balls. What a hole is trademarked. Ugh, suck it. I'm so sick of coming up with names for, you know what, Bonafart. All of the bets right, we're calling them Bonafarts now. Just kill a few of them or something, I don't care anymore. But it is strange, because it has an aftertaste, which, like, an afterburn, if you will. And it's more prevalent after that second hit there. Um... Wow, strange, because that's not bad. I've heard impressions from other people along the way. Obviously, this was a big sensation when it came out. I'm sure there were people like chugging it and shit on here on the fellow YouTube land, but um, honestly, it's not heinous. It's not bad. 
heinous is the word of the day. Um, I figured that's what this was going to be. Because I believed, I kind of pretty much assumed everyone was kind of right. Like, this is just going to be bad. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, there's nothing beats a good hot Cheeto. Um, but no, this, this is not bad, dude. This is, I do not mind this. It's not something I, like, seek out to drink or that I'm, like, you know, sad that I don't have more of. Even though I totally don't have a 12-pack of it that I have cans that I bought because I assume maybe it would be a collectible one day. But let's go for a third hit. Sweeter. It's like fruity, lime, Mountain Dew with a weird afterburn of like of like acid on the back of your throat. It's not on your tongue, it's not on your lip, it's not on like the roof of your mouth, the back of your tongue, it's like so I, it's like yeah man. Yeah, so flaming hot fucking Mountain Dew, dude. I'm gonna have to say flaming hot Mountain Dew is toasty in my opinion. Um but not to -to 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 toasty. You know, there's not like hella teas in front of it, but it is toasty. That's the new relative rating scale, too. Uh, that's the new rating scale, basically. Is it toasty or is it not toasty? Uh, I'm done with a, a, a meaningless fucking number system that, you know, ultimately equates to nothing. <laughs> so, basically, is it toasty? Is it not toasty? Against all odds and fucking expectations. Mountain Dew, flaming Hot, is toasty, in my opinion. Um, I'd say give it a try, but you probably either have, like, over a year ago and probably hated it or liked it or had an opinion then. <laughs> and I'm, like, way after the fact. But, hey, I knew when the fucking inspiration struck, I'd fucking get to this. So, you know, flaming Hot Mountain Dew, totally toasty. Um, but like I said... It's nothing like a hot Cheeto. So, you know, I'm Drewski. I'm here at Yellow Buckets doing toasty reviews. My pride and joy here at the Yellow Buckets YouTube space. Um, I fucking thought ahead. I got an idea, you know. I anticipated this not to be spicy at all, which, to be honest, it really isn't in, in, in the terms of this to, like, a Carolina Reaper pepper. Um, so I had the idea, why not take some hot Cheetos and infuse them into some vodka, or rather take vodka and infuse it with hot Cheetos. So, during a D&D game session last week, I decided I'm gonna do exactly that. So, teleport to Eric's house. All right, comrades, if you made it this far in the toasty review, I applaud you. I, I anticipate that that flaming Hot Mountain Dew wasn't shit. So, what I did was got myself some good old Flaming Hot Cheetos with good old Red something Lake. Red 40. Red 40 Lake. Um, and I got myself some Tito's Vodka, courtesy of our toasty Yellow Buckets brother Eric. And uh, we're here in the D&D layer, and uh, I'm going to make myself my own Flaming Hot Vodka because... Flaming Hot Mountain Dew, let's just be honest, just isn't cutting it, didn't cut it. So, we're going to take some of these, put it in a jar, wait about a week, and uh, we're going to mix up a cocktail and, and see what we got. But, for now, let's fucking do some science. Let's do some science. Get in the frame, bro. What the fuck, is this your first day at the Toast Review office, bro? Totally inspired by, but not pandering to, videos I've seen on YouTube of a fella doing some similar shit. Shout out to him. Fuck me. Good old hot Cheetos, comrades. <clears throat> yeah, I all right, so we're gonna take a good amount. And now, the magic sauce.
Now we wait. One week later. Red dead. Hell yeah. Good looking, homie. All right. Take, take care, care, brother. <laughs> Damn. Well, this is what we're gonna have to work with, comrades. Um, I'm excited. All right. So it's a week later. Um, shout out to Eric for sponsoring the vodka. Shout out to the Yellow Buckets crew for helping out. Um, you know who you are. Um, yeah, we have Mountain Dew <coughs> infused or. <laughs> Take two. We have hot Cheeto infused vodka. Um, it's really strange. If I look at it, I just kind of shook it up. But it, if I looked at it earlier, along the top there was like circular li like lines of circles, which I assumed like bubbles, <laughs> lines of circles. Uh, those are bubbles, maybe. Yes, yeah, so that's the word. Uh, which I assume is like the fat separated off of the. Um, the Cheetos, um, the Cheetos themselves look anemic, uh, like, but they're still somewhat whole. I don't know, dude, but it's been a week. They've sat in some Tito's vodka, and for science, I'm going to take a shot just to taste it, and then we'll mix up a cocktail with some of the Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew and see if it, if it truly enhances the Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew to a particularly hellish fire burn your throat shit your pants probably in the bed later tonight kind of effect you know so let's let's head over to the cutting board and mix something up i guess <laughs> so we got everything we need for heartburn i mean <clears throat> a good time so let's first things first we gotta crack this so i'm gonna take the collins glass slider out of the way here <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's crack this suck up. Ooh. Not too much of a like a pressure on it, so it's leads me to believe it's still good. Let's get that out of the way before I destroy it. Ooh, okay. A little bit of a pop on it. Alright. Here we go. Okay, it doesn't look too crazy. I'm gonna try to bring y'all in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa there, whoa there. Yeah, dude, it smells like vodka. Oh, oh, oh. okay, I just stuck my nose in there. Kinda smells a little sus. It's just a little. All right, like I said, oh, it's like, Vodka on top of like stale corn is like not that good. Get in here for a proper test. Fuck. It's, dude, it's oh my god. It's like wet rubber. It's like wet rubber. Okay, that was like not good. Spoon has oil separated from the vodka. Okay. Okay. All right, we're fighting demons here, comrades. Which is probably appropriate from who we got this fucker from, so. What's the F word count so far, Drewski? Okay, pouring up a shot. Making, you know, a mess. All right. 
Okay. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side. We'll drink up here. Once I make my drink, just get that out of the way too. Grab yourself a nice Collins glass. This is the uh, flaming Hot Vodka Impromptu Nasty Bad Boy. So what you do is you just take yourself a good like shot, two shots, some more. Get that out of the way. Grab yourself some flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Same thing, slosh. Slosh, slosh. Good equal distance there, you know. It's totally not the right word, but I'm going with it. Um, let me show you guys what these look like from the inside real quick. Or from the top, rather. So that's my perspective. It looks like tomato soup that you, like, used water from, like, a cup that had fucking, like, soap scum still in it that looks like literal science dude science and the shot looks even more fucked up to be honest tomato soup with blowy bubbles well alrighty comrades here you have it um cheers to toasty reviews and cheers to many fucking more and cheers to your health and happiness and thank you for for seeing this and being this far into the video and if you subscribe these are for you and if not they're also for you but really they're for me salute Tastes like a, it tastes like a hot Cheeto, salt, like just a, tasted, it tasted like a hot Cheeto stripped of its fucking flavor in vodka with spice. It honestly tastes like, this is how, I expected the the Mountain Dew flaming hot to burn. That has me stunned. Woo! Put this down. Okay, back and back up, because, okay, I don't recommend soaking vodka with hot Cheetos. To be honest, it tastes like throw up. Now that, that, not to be disgusting, but you know, I'm vile and I'll say some vulgar stuff, but it tastes like vomit. Um, Not good, not that was not toasty. That's an example of something that is not toasty. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna have to cleanse my palate with like a fucking Budweiser or Happy Dad or something after that, but there maybe just some good old fashioned water, you know. But who am I? I'm just the toasty review man, Drewski here. Um, Happy to bring you Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot, which is totally toasty. Give it a try if you ever somehow find a relic of it or you meet the Doom Guy uh, at your favorite outdoor adventure area. Um, remember, ask no questions. But other than that, that was toasty. Do not soak your favorite snack foods in vodka, comrades. My mouth tastes like puke a little bit and my stomach and esophageal tract, for lack of the right term at the current moment, burns um, slightly like acid um yeah thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more toasty reviews are back 
stay toasty. It's a Mountain Dew marathon, so that's all I gotta say. Stay tuned for the next one, comrades. Peace.